Hi guys, welcome to all aboard SSC and RRB Express. So this particular video is of course uh, for your upcoming SSC exams. It's about the one word substitution. Now you get you get direct questions on this from this particular chapter, which is an ek shabdu ke liye ek shabd one word substitution. What I've covered here is 25 important one word substitution. We'll be doing this on a weekly basis. We'll be taking idioms as well as one word substitutions. So it is a thorough revision and basically a test for all of you. What I'll be doing is giving you the sentence. You have to give the word. This is how you are asked the question in the exam. Of course, you have four options there. You will not have op options here, but you can still, uh, you should be able to guess the word, right? So we'll be taking 25 words each time. And uh, I'll show you the meaning. You have to guess the word. And then, of course, we can discuss it so that you remember. So try to remember these one word substitutions while watching. I'll be covering all the common ones from there are, of course, there's huge possibility, huge chances that you will get questions from here itself. So yeah, it's an unlimited list. We'll be doing all the important words in these sessions, right? So it will be weekly. Uh, guys, uh, yeah, if you, of course, if you're watching this, do share the session with others as well. Like I told you, each weekend you'll get this. So do share the session with others as well. And try to learn as much as possible while watching the video itself right and understand the meanings and as much as possible uh, when you have options with you it's easy to mark in the exam but while we are preparing these this is something which we have to do on a regular basis read one word substitution vocabulary or idioms so that we remember it for the long time right that should be our target so let's begin let's move to the ppt so for week one, we have 25 most important one word substitutions and each shabdu ke liye shabd. First one here, now a picture is always, of course, is there for a few of uh, these so that you remember the meanings, right? Just to help you remember, I've put pictures for a few of them. A skilled worker who cuts and engraves precious stones. So you can see a worker, right, who works on, if you can, you can say gemstones or the other stones, right, who cuts... Uh, and engraves precious stones. So, what will be the answer here? So, let's move to the first one. A skilled worker who cuts and engraves precious stones. So, guys, for each of these, let me give you a few seconds, right? And then, of course, you can guess the meaning within the given time. So, you have the timer on. You can quickly guess the meaning. Meaning in the sense you can guess the word. What is the common word we use, right? Huh. What is the common word that we use? For a worker, we can see the picture also. Who cuts and engraves precious stones, right? Or also inscribe designs or writing on a surface. Okay, the time is up here. So the correct word here will be lapidist. So a, a worker who does this work is called a lapidist. So... You know, you would have seen an engraver, right? We can also say engraver, a person who cuts and engraves precious stones, right? So, lapidary, we say the family, lapidary family who does all this work. So, lapidist means again, a uh, person who has the business to cut and polish and, you know, deal in gemstones, you can also say. So, all of that work is done by a lapidist. Okay, a man who hates marriage. I know probably people will laugh at the uh, picture right now. Okay, so the timer is on for all of you. Quickly guess this word. A man who hates marriage. It's a very common word and definitely you get this for your one word substitution question. A person who hates marriage. A man who hates marriage. So there is a root also here which is used. Okay. Now that the time is up. So the correct word is misogamist, right? So a person who hates marriage is a marriage hater is a misogamist, right? So you you might relate to Related with, of course, any person who you know who says will never get married or you know just enjoys his independence, so is a misogamist. Basically, M I S O is a root which means hate, right? 
someone who hates marriage is misogynist right okay moving to the next one a person who rides horses in races as a profession who rides horses as a profession okay so the timer is on quickly guess the word oh not a tough one again should be able to guess within the given time so i'm giving you 30 seconds which is more than enough if you know the word you'll be very quick of course a few seconds you would take so what's the this rider called who rides in horse races as a profession particularly time up so the correct word here is jockey for a person who is a horseman right who is a professional uh, horse rider is a jockey right moving to the next one equal in rank merit or quality so i really love this picture for to depict this particular word somebody who is who enjoys an equal status like you or is of course has the same age like you belongs to the same group or when we say category we use this particular common word right as a noun quickly uh, we will start the timer guess the word person who has same age same social position like you or maybe the same abilities right as the other people in a group right belong to the similar group right same kind of rank or merit or qualities you have you possess okay so the time is up here the correct word is a very common word peer we say a peer group peer group means we belong to the same group it can be the same social circle or you know same qualities or same age group also peer so peer are friends who belong to the same group who is made to bear the blame due to others basically wo person jo sabke karan se kya sunta hai blame sunta hai theek hai jiske upar sara blame ya yeah, the picture makes it all clear so the picture can give you a hint also theek hai so i'll switch on the timer and then very quickly try to guess this word timer is on very quickly who is blamed for all the wrong doings all the mistakes or faults of others also so who becomes a victim basically all for others wrong doings also for others mistakes also this person is blamed who is that called right the picture can give you the hint guys okay time up so the correct word here is scapegoat so goat picture is already there right scapegoat jise hum hindi mein kehte hain bali ka bakra right bali ka bakra bolte hain na hindi mein theek hai so the same thing bali ka bakra jo hum hindi mein bhi bolte hain right ha the goat word is already here in the word itself so on whom all the fault is put right who becomes the victim for each other's wrong doings also the fault is put on this person scapegoat next is person interested in collecting or studying or selling of old things antique things right so we have a word for that person quickly the timer is on guess the word who is interested in collecting and studying and selling of old things what could be the word here? uh i don't think many would know but i will give you a hint also probably huh. uh, who who is interested in collecting antique unique things rare things right when we say antique we we call kind of say right unique rare stuff okay time up so like i told you antiquarian antique can help you remember that antique is any collectible object right it can be a piece of furniture or a work of art jiski value bahut zyada hai kyun because of its age and quality it has huge value ki bahut purana hai ya quality aisi hai uski 
तो कोई भी फर्नीचर का पीस हो सकता है आर्ट वर्क हो सकता है जो एंशियंट टाइम्स का हो बट क्वालिटी बहुत अच्छी है एंटीक पीस एंटीक्वेरियन इज अ पर्सन राइट एंटीक्वेरियन हु इज ऑफ कोर्स इंटरेस्टेड इन कलेक्टिंग दीज एंटीक्स और एंटीक्विटी सो रिमेंबर एंटीक्वेरियन एंटीक्वेरियन फ्रॉम द वर्ड from the word antiques you you must have heard antiques antiques means what old stuff right unique stuff rare rare collectibles rare things next one i'll switch the timer on extreme old age when a man behaves like a fool what is this age called and also this is like the declining years this is the old age where a person is very weak very old right where we usually say it's childhood returns this age particularly the man's childhood returns it's called the second childhood also of a person okay so time up so you would have seen guys old people probably who behave like a child who behave like a fool like a child they start behaving like a child at a particular age that is dotage right we also call this as the of course second childhood second childhood so these are the declining years these are called the dotage right next word a person who is having the qualities of a woman i'll just switch on the timer and this is a common one so i probably think you'll be able to guess it very quickly man having the qualities of a woman yes or uh, usually we can call this person as unmanly right womanish unmanly that kind of a person that does does not come across or does not seem to be manly enough you know has qualities of those of a woman like those of a woman okay let's check the answer it's effeminate so you can relate from this word female f e m is given so female fem so womanish somebody who is unmanly right unmanly someone who is womanish shows characters of a woman so that is effeminate next one who pretends to have more knowledge than he really has so there might be someone who just shows off that he knows about a particular thing though he doesn't सो so, जस्ट जो दिखावा करता है कि मुझे ज्यादा पता है किसी चीज के बारे में ज्यादा नॉलेज है या स्किल है बट यू होता नहीं इन रियालिटी राइट सो वॉट इज द वर्ड क्विकली द टाइम इज ऑन ओके so the word here is charlatan okay just ha uh, huh. who pretends who is not really knowledgeable but who just pretends to be knowledgeable right who falsely claims to have special knowledge or you know special uh, you know skill right so we can say it's, a, it's who's a fraud basically who's a fake who is just faking that he has that skill but he in uh, reality doesn't have that who's a cheat who's a you know you can say pretender right so who falsely claims that i have special knowledge or skill is called charlatan it's a noun guys so this is remember this is a noun word right who particularly fakes about his skill or special knowledge that he has a special knowledge is called a charlatan okay next word this is pretty simple one uh, probably in your school days or college days you used to call a few persons or probably a peers in a peer group probably you'll have a person like this who is not very fashionable fashionable who is very studious who is like you know who has a boring hobby who doesn't seem very uh, you know updated with regards to fashion or trends who doesn't worry too much about the trends the studio studious kind of a person who who's very very boring and doesn't have many social skills who is a single minded right in a particular field maybe very very you know studious kind single minded nerd definitely we have heard this i'm pretty sure so this is a picture which i thought would probably interest you 
so a geek a nerd who a nerd who is like who basically somebody who lacks the social skills that is why we say a bore who lacks the social skills right who is but just interested in one particular field maybe it is any technical field will be totally into it and not in other things right okay and very very extremely studious nerd right nerd now a short story based on personal experience what will be this word quickly guess it the timer is on a short story based on your personal experience personal experience is the highlight here based on that when you have a short story we use this particular word okay the time is up anecdote is the word here so you interesting story you know a real incident happened with a person and you tell a story basically it's a nar narrative narrative means any story right we can say anecdote but anecdote particularly is uh, an interesting story about a real person or a real incident about a real incident that happened or a real about a real person when you share a very interesting story that is an anecdote okay moving to the next one short speech delivered without any preparation this is a extremely common one you will get it in one go something which is spoken or done without preparation spontaneous right you go on stage you have to give a speech without previous preparation on the spot you're given the topic something spontaneous okay time up so the word which is used is extempo right it's an adjective right which is done without preparation which is impromptu right something which is spontaneous Spontaneous because you're not preparing for it, right? In way in advance. So ये पहले से आप prepare नहीं करके जाते. आप stage पे जाते हो आपको on the spot on the spot topic दिया जाता है. You have to speak on that. So that is called extempo, right? Next, a drug or substance that induces sleep. तो उस उस drug को या substance को क्या बोलते हैं जिससे नींद आ आती है? That induces sleep. What is that called? that has a calming that promotes you know or calm sleep or induce sleep easy one i guess a common one again i would say so very quickly time up so the answer is sedative right right so that is something which is calming which is soothing relaxing right which promotes sleep sedative Next one, an angry woman who often complains and criticizes other people. Always complains about, criticizes the other people. What is this woman called? Quickly, you can see the picture also. Particularly, so not a very common word, but let's see. Oh, how many of you are able to guess it? Starting with V, if you want a hint. You know, bad-tempered woman, a violent one, dominant. A domineering one, a violent one, a bad tempered, always in a bad mood, right? Who will criticize or blame other people, probably. So time up. The word here is virago. So this we use for bad temper. Temper is always related to mood, right? It's so always in a bad mood. Bad tempered woman, always in a bad mood, criticizing others is a virago, right? Next. Complain or find fault about small things, trivial matters, unimportant things. You always complain about stupid, silly things. That what is it? What is the word which we use? There's a particular word we use when we talk about you know complaints regarding small things, stupid stuff, stuff, silly things. Finding fault about matters which do not mean a lot. 
which are unimportant. It's a verb, of, of, obviously. So, yes, time up. The word here is car. It's a verb. Right? So when you complain about small things, right? Grumble or moan about stupid, silly things, that is called car. You can say grumble also. You can also say simple complain. It's also called car. Okay? Remember it because you'll have four options and probably you'll have this word, then you should know the meaning. Haughty or presumptuous, especially for one's rank or social standing. Means very, very, you know, feeling, having that, you know, uh, pride, you know, because of one's social status. What is that called? Having that sense of pride, being arrogant because you're important in the social or society or you have a special you know standing in the social society you have a rank so you you feel you're very very important giving self-importance and you're very arrogant proudy right haughty we say right for proud arrogance basically negative word so the word here is apity you can remember from up means at an upper level in the social rank in the society so apity remember from up basically arrogant Right, you show that you are only the important one. You give importance to yourself. You are arrogant, right? So he became very uppity when his fashion designs were criticized, right? You behave in a way that you're more important than others. That is, you're very, very proud about yourself, right? You show up. So that is uppity, right? Conceited, we say, right? Conceited person or arrogant person, just worried or, you know, selfish about things, right? Right? Okay. Next, a row of trees or other tall objects. This is an important one. We should know definitely. So quickly guess it. You have the timer on. So you can see the row of uh, guys tall, uh, you know, these pillars. So it can be for trees also, for other tall objects also. So what is this called? This column, this row particularly. There's a word we use for this row. Okay, so we have the word colonnade, right? This is something which is, we say portico, right? That we say colonnade, right? Arcade. So this is row of evenly spaced columns supporting a roof. You can see uh, the picture. This is very clear, guys, from the picture. That is why I put these pictures. It can be row of trees also, row of other tall objects also. But you can see supporting the roof, these pillars are there in a particular arrangement, particular order, right? So that is why we call it colonnade. It's a noun, colonnade. We can also say, it, we, we have heard this probably. We can also call it as portico, right? So this is a uh -huh. this is a structure basically of a roof supported by columns and regular intervals are there. You see regular intervals uh, between the, you know, pillars. So that is why it is called colonnade. Remember it with the help of pictures. Few words you have to remember with the help of pictures and then you can, of course, mark with the given options. Okay. Next one, quickly, the timer on. Simple one. We write this in a letter after it is signed as an informal thing or we forget a line or something. We mention this and then we write that particular line below in the end of the letter. An additional remark we write. Okay, time up. So the word here is postscript. What happens is, if suppose we forget to write something and we remember it later after we have written the complete letter and we have signed it also, what we do is we put a small PS and then we mention it, right? So like, or something important we want to highlight, we also do this. So PS is a short form of post script, post script, like PS in a letter I will write leaving tomorrow. So this probably I did not mention it or I forgot to mention it earlier in the entire letter. I've signed it also. It's end, ended, but now I forgot. So in the end, I'll just write PS means postscript and I'll just write my message. So that is th the thing which is written. Once the letter is signed, everything is done. We use this short form and then we have to add on something. We can use it, right? Postscript. It's called a postscript. A person who leads an immoral life. Okay. What will be the word for that person quickly? Simple to remember, 
very very quickly guess it. Who, who doesn't believe in you know uh, force morality who leads an immoral life okay so the word here is libertine you can you probably can remember it with the help of liberty who takes all the freedom in the world who is a person who lives in a way that is particularly you know uh, not moral not considered as correct so libertine remember from liberty probably unfair advantage for members of one's own family i don't think you should need time for this also we, we are hearing this word so often uh, of course these days a word which we are hearing in connection with bollywood of course so definitely um, credit goes to kangana this word is famous particularly everybody would know the meaning of this word now so basically giving advantage or you know you are in a position of power and you give advantage to your relatives or friends right favor them give them jobs favor them that that what is that called it's a noun what is that action called it's nepotism definitely we have heard it it's all so famous to kangana all right kangana ranaut so nepotism in bollywood we have heard they give favor they you know promote star childs we have heard like this so basically it could be anywhere in any field nepotism is an activity so if you are in a powerful position you will of course you will try to favor your friends or relatives and give them jobs and refer them instead of the other person who might be more you know capable so that is favoring your own favoring your or you know somebody who is in your relation that is called nepotism person who boasts about their achievements so this picture is really very very interesting somebody who just talks about his achievements i am this i am that you'll find a lot of people like that so probably you can uh, you know relate it to somebody who you know who is like that who always talks about his achievements i am really handsome i am very rich or you know things like that what is that person called that i own this i am this who is very show off who is show off who is egotist show off not a very difficult word okay so time up let's check it's braggart braggart means a uh, show off egotist talks about himself always so brag you know you understand the word brag right so bragging means when you talk about okay your achievements yourself right how you are superior you brag in a you say something in a boastful manner so remember from this word only brag is another word brag is a verb which means to speak to show off in a you know to speak something in a boastful manner so same thing braggart will be a person brag is a verb braggart is a person who does that right who boasts about one's achievement becoming increasingly chaotic means causing a lot of confusion and something which is out of control totally what is that quickly guess the word I see it will be much easier in the exams probably because you will have options there. Here, of course, I'm not giving you options, but your preparation should be such that you should be able to guess the word just after looking at the description. You should, be, you should know some what, huh? What would be the word? What can be the word for the given description? This is what is one word substitution. You get the meaning, you have to guess the word, right? Okay. so tail spin tail spin means extreme you know confusion when the things are not in order things are out of control so there is chaos right so like we say uh, you know an economy tail spinning into chaos economy which is going out of control so that is tail spin right things which are going out of control so that is tail spin next who is a brilliant performer of music particularly for music or you can say any artist who is a brilliant performer what is the word we use for that particular artist who is a known artist who is like particularly for music we use this word but for other art forms also we have started using this particular word and uh, yeah it's a common one again i would say 
a person highly skilled in any artistic you know pursue a master of something a genius of that art form music is also an art form so for music we particularly use it but any art form you can say who is a professional who is a you know expert in that a genius in that art form what is the word that you will use okay time up so the word is virtuoso right virtuoso is an expert a genius in the field right an expert a genius you know really really a master a maestro maestro in the particular art form or music it's virtuoso this is a common word we use next the art of cleaning and preserving animal skins you can see the picture the animal skins you keep them and you preserve those skins animal skins what is this art called what is this particular art called you prepare you know you stuff you prepare the skins of animals you know give them effect life like effect so some something related to skin there's a particular word which we use related to skin that is the hint i would like to give you here so let's very quickly switch on the timer and then you can guess the word i've given you one small hint something related with the word something which is a word related to skin that is included here so you clean you preserve you fill the skins of dead animals with special material to make them look alive right from the picture it, i think it can be clear very quickly guess the word okay time up so the word here is taxidermy so guys you all know right dermy dermatologist derm word is always related to skin right doctor who looks at skin diseases is dermatologist so derm is already related to skin so when you talk about animal skins cleaning them keeping them preserving them looking making them look like like little you know uh, natural that is all taxidermy right that art is called taxidermy last one the 25th one the simplest one where do rabbits live there is a hole or a tunnel they dug right small animals what is that called we we did this in of course first or second standard in the school and this is asked in one word also by the way so there is a tunnel you can say there is a bore which they uh, dig right so what is this particularly called where the rabbits live quickly i'll switch on the timer for all of you i don't think you need a timer here i think within seconds you would know the answer probably you know the answer this is the, this is the easiest one quickly guess the word so the dwelling of small animals like rabbits is called burrow right so they, they dug a hole in a hole and this particular hole that is shown in the picture is a burrow right where they live so burrow is the proper word for it right okay so these were your 25 one word substitution we have a lot we have a of course a uh, huge list that we'll be covering each week so don't worry next week probably 25 idioms and then we'll again do the one word so i'll keep this on a for a weekly uh, basis you can test yourself with all of these important idioms in one words so i'll cover the common ones just follow these classes listen to it regularly remember it and you'll have the help of options like i told you guys uh, if you enjoyed the session if you were able to judge whether you are good at one word substitution or no through this please please do share it and do like and subscribe our channel so all of the stuff related to ssc you will see the classes here and the of course videos like these here i'll be putting more such videos also please do mention in the comments what all you need right give feedback for this and tell me what else you require here you want detailed explanation or you know something else or how did you find it definitely i would love to hear from all of you so below in the comment section do mention your comments thank you and stay tuned with all of you thank you all do subscribe like and share